Hello, it's your boy Dapper the Don, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we are going to have the conversation that most people get a misunderstanding of, and probably once again will get me in trouble. Does body count matter? Now before I start, you guys already know I have to do this because there are going to be the ones who feel offended and will start to act like I'm the next Antichrist, so let me just say, this is just the Don's opinion. You don't have to agree if it doesn't apply, please, for the love of God, let it fly. But who am I kidding? You will manage to still bitch at the end of the day. Now, I know the big question you guys want Don to answer. Does it matter what a girl's body count is? Well, yes and no. It honestly depends on what you're looking for. The reason why it doesn't matter is because at the end of the day, if you're just trying to smash, then it really doesn't matter if you're just going to be a number added to it. But if you want to have a future with this person, then yeah, and hear me out. A high body count isn't a problem because it makes you look like a hoe. It's a problem because I'm going to assume that these body counts were relationships. And for women, sex is a more emotional thing. And that's one too many failed relationships for me. Now should you be asking someone what's their body count? It doesn't matter because at the end of the day they are going to lie. Men lie about their body count to look like a ladies man. And women lie about their body count to look like a nun. Now one thing about the Don is I see everything both ways. If a girl asked me what's my body count, I would lie, not that it's a lot, but that it's a little, or in some cases say I'm a virgin. The reason why I'm going to lie is because body counts are looked at as car facts. So ask yourself this, if you were at the car dealership, you wouldn't want to buy a car with 100,000 miles on the dashboard and has been in multiple accident reports. You would rather have a car with maybe 60000 miles on it and no accidents. I don't want my wife to see me as a hoe. Yes, I know it's cool for a man to be a hoe now in days, but I feel like you attract what you are. If you are a hoe out on these streets, then I feel like the only type of woman that will find that attractive is a hoe herself. Asking someone for their body count feels like an old school breaking the ice type of question. Now, if you're in high school, then it's whatever to ask because that's kind of like a kid's thing. But if you're a whole grown ass adult asking someone their body count, you're going to look crazy. That isn't even how I feel about you. It's just what I hear women say. Me personally, when I meet a girl and I want to be serious with her, I don't ask because it's kind of an out of sight, out of mind mindset thing with me. But it's different if I can't help but see your body count, for example, you have ex's names tatted on you, or you just happen to have dated everyone I know, or there are videos of you out here with a different dude every now and then, that's when it's a problem. But again, I'm not asking what's a women's body count. There are three other ways to find out a girl's body count without asking her what's her body count. One. If she always has a story about an ex, she's up there because she will tell you stories about how these men are the evilest person in the world, and all but keep in mind she was letting them hit at some point. 2. If she has the mindset that all men should die because they aren't shit, then she's up there because shoddy got played so many times, and instead of healing, she's hurting. And 3. She's very open with the subject of sex. Openness in conversation is not merely a sign of confidence, it's a testament to the depth of knowledge. The wider we open the doors of discourse, the clearer the evidence of the halls of understanding we've walked through. Now me, personally, if I'm talking to a girl and I found out she's a virgin, I'm running the other way. I want the girl I'm talking with to have experience in the field. When it comes to dealing with virgins, you got to move at a slower pace because it's a big moment for them. So don't think after you go on a few dates with them that you will smash. You have to dedicate almost a whole year before they feel comfortable enough to let you pipe. And then once it's finally happening, they don't know what to do and aren't that good at the delicacies of sex like the Gawk Gawk 3000. Now, I'm not saying I want my girl to have a Violet Myers type of body count, but I just want her to be experienced enough to know what she likes and what she doesn't like so I can move accordingly. And I know some guys will be okay with dedicating a year of their life to someone just to smash, but I'm living on dog years here, so life is too short for me. At the end of the day, the only thing you should worry about when it comes to sex and your partner is if that person has something like an STD. Well, that will be all for today. If you have any topics you would like for the Don to help you with, be sure to leave a comment and like the video. I'm Dapper the Don and I love you guys. Have a good day.